Hey, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series, and welcome to a couple of little videos that I'm calling What's the Difference? Now, for those that don't know a lot about Land Rovers, you'll probably say that this is a Land Rover Defender because it's square. But any of you out there that has ever undone a nut or a bolt on these vehicles will know that nothing is just so. They all have their unique little quirks and they all have their unique differences. And this is exactly the same when it comes to the components that actually make up these vehicles. So join me today as we have a look into the mighty LT95 gearbox and what is the difference between that and its rival, the LT95A. Anyway, as always, you know exactly what to do. Click on that subscribe button down below, click on that notification button too, but most importantly, stay tuned. Okay, like any well-respecting Land Rover owner, I have a full bench right here. Because a full bench is a busy bench. That's right. Now, this remains is a LT95 gearbox. Now, the LT95 gearbox, this one here, is out of my 1983 Land Rover Series 3 Stage 1. That's quite a mouthful. Now, I've also got one in a box over here that you can't see off camera, which is actually out of my Land Rover Parenti. And I've got another gearbox in the Land Rover Parenti, which is an LT95A, because you just can't have enough of a good thing. So what is the difference between this gearbox, the LT95, and the LT95A? From my experience, and I say that from my experience, because the great thing about Land Rovers is, I've been mucking around with them for 20 odd years or more, is you never stop learning. There's always some slight little difference. And the key differences that I've come across is the LT95 has needle bearings in it, and I've got one here that I prepared earlier that you can see needle roller bearings, if I can get that out correctly. Uh, particularly in the transfer case here. And then the LT95A has tapered roller bearings. Now the advantage with a taper roller bearing, which is actually used in the series gearbox, in the series 1, 2, 2A and 3, is that you've got shims either side. And so you can actually set the preload much, much easier. And as the bearings actually wear in your transmission, that preload will actually change. And I've had that in the Series 2. I rebuilt the gearbox, or the sorry, the transfer case 10 years ago, and I've had to change the shims a couple of times just as they their bearings sort of bed into one another. So you've got a greater ease of adjustment there. The other thing with the LT95A is that the actual ratio in the transfer case down here is much, much lower than that of the LT95. Now, the LT95 typically was the civilian variant. The LT95A was found in the Land Rover Parenti, so obviously it had to be soldier-proof. And for stuff to be soldier-proof, it has to be pretty tough. So hence why they decided to beef it up a little bit more. Overall, as a transmission, they're fantastic. They're really, really good. They are a lot more complex compared to a series gearbox, uh, and you do obviously have to pay a lot more attention to the tolerances uh, within the gearbox itself. This one I'm hoping to uh, slowly continue to restore 
and bring back to life in the future as a spare gearbox and I'm very much hoping to put an LT95A in the Land Rover Series 3 Stage 1. But to do that, it's not just simply get an LT95A and put it in your vehicle. You can't do that. Because that'd just be too simple, wouldn't it? It would. That's not the Land Rover way. Because the actual transmission brake on the bottom of the actual, um, or the bottom here of the uh, transfer case or the output shaft, the actual transmission brake is different. Now on the LT95 here, the transmission brake is a much smaller diameter and it has a much broader shoe. Whereas the LT95A has a much larger diameter drum and a thinner shoe in it or brake shoes within it. Now, so I've been told and I haven't tried it myself and I'm sure many of you have. If you fit an LT95A gearbox or transmission to your Stage 1 or your Range Rover, what you'll find is the larger diameter drum will actually hit up against the chassis rail that's actually behind the transmission itself. So it's one of those things. You think, how hard can it be? Not that hard, but there's enough there to catch you out. So anyway, these are some of the things that are the difference between the LT95 and the LT95A. No doubt you've got a few other differences that you've come across over the years. So please don't just share it with me, but share it with the Seriously Serious community by typing it in the comment section down below. And look, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do support Seriously Series on Patreon. It makes a huge difference. It allows us to do these videos, more adventures, and a heck of a lot more. Anyway, as you can see, I've got a gearbox to strip down and put together. So I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.